Hello everybody, it's me Karen, and today we've got a brand new series on my channel and as you can guess, yes, it is Grimsby Town Football Club off the Vanarama Conference in England. If you saw the trailer, then I'd just like to say a quick um, thank you to Grimsby Town Football Club on YouTube uh, as I have taken that from them. I've credit th credited them in the uh, trailer video and linked them to their channel if you want to go check out that. Um, but other than that, we're going to go straight into this save and I'm just quickly speeding through everything that's going on here. Choosing the team, going through the messages, choosing a tactic, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully it can be a very good series. And in terms of this series, it's just going to be one of those that lasts up until FM16. Now everybody's getting a little bit tired of FM15 now, you know, it's getting a bit repetitive. So it's kind of hard to find content that um, everyone's going to start enjoying. You know, that's not original that uh, somebody hasn't already done yet. So, it, you know, it, it's kind of hard to get into it. But with Grimsby, they're a team that have um, fallen quite far from what their former glories used to be. They used to be a former Premier League team. If um, you didn't know that, they've won the championship twice. And, you know, it's a real shame to see them in the uh, Vanarama Conference, which, you know, they don't really deserve that. They're a very local club to me. I live in Hull. They, uh, they're just across the river, river, should I say, from me. So they're quite local. Uh, the fishermen, the codheads, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, they're a decent team, so I'm going to try and take them to um, the top again. In regards to other things, um, as some of you may know, I am the manager of the FM Scout YouTube channel. Now, there hasn't been any content on there for a couple of weeks, and that's due to um, us doing a big overhaul of the channel. Now, there's going to be a brand new team, and we've got some exciting stuff for FM16, which you'll be able to see over on the new channel when um, I finally release the um, update video that I'm planning on doing soon. So yeah, <clears throat> if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe. I'll leave the link in the description. We're one subscriber off, or although actually we might have hit that today, um, off 4,000 subscribers. We've done very well since I took over. There was nobody on the channel. There's 1,200 subscribers there. And now we're at 4K, which is a big achievement. Um, but we're just going to quickly go through these instructions real quick, choose what we want to play, and then we've got Gateshead, the first game of the season, which is going to be a tough game in all fairness, and hopefully we can get a win there. But um, the big game of the season is definitely Lincoln, but we'll get to that when I see you there. So I'll see you in a minute. Peace! Okay, guys, and now we're here, and we've got uh, the first game of the season against Gateshead, which should be a tough game. Uh, in terms of friendlies, we've not done too bad. We lost to our 121s. Uh, very disappointing, really. Two all draw with Morecambe. Can't really complain with that. And then a 3 0 win against Staines. Beat Harrogate Railway 1 0. And then a draw with Peterborough 1 also. In friendlies terms, I think we've done very well there. Morecambe and Peterborough, especially getting uh, you know draws there and two wins against these two teams. Uh, Gate said now though, away, there's a lot of uh, injury and suspension news, we have two of our centre backs out suspended, one for two games, one for one game, two injuries, two, uh, well four injuries altogether and eight players apparently set to make their debuts, so going into transfer wise we've been pretty busy improving the squad and I'm very happy with the signs I've got, so I've brought in Mark Beck from Carlisle on loan, surprisingly he was loan listed, I've heard good things about this kid, 20 years old, you know, he's a good player and hopefully he can get us some good goals this year in the conference and hopefully, you know, help us achieve promotion to League 2. Uh, he's a very good player hopefully uh, he performs for us. Second player bringing in is Airman Verma from Kidderminster. We've got him in on a free because we needed an attacking midfielder because we didn't have any good attacking midfielders in the squad. Fairly average stats, you know, what you would expect from a conference style striker and he's going straight in the squad along with Mark Beck. The next player we've brought in is Ross Jenkins, the former um, Burton Albion centre midfielder. He's a very good player, I've used him when I played with Burton at the beginning of FM15, you know, he's a very good player. And it's a shame that, uh, oh no wait, maybe not, he's not the Burton Ross Jenkins, he's a Watford J Ross Jenkins, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, um, I think I might have brought him in actually though from Watford at the beginning of the year. I'm not sure, but anyway, I know this guy's a good player. I am, um, I've, you know, played him before. He's a very good player, and hopefully he can fit straight into that centre midfield role. The next player we brought in is Reese Hayes. He is an attacking midfielder, very good, very promising, uh, five star potential for us. Uh, he's only 17 years old, and he's a backup centre attacking midfielder for us. Probably maybe even play him over um, a man as uh, you know his stats look a little bit better than his um, 
The next and final player is Taylor Parmenta, and we needed another centre back purely to the fact that we've got two players out suspended and we could easily get an injury crisis as I've just realised we don't have um, a very decent centre back to um, cover so this guy will probably be playing this first game of the season but we're going to go ahead now I'm going to shoot straight into this match, pu um, match preview should I say and that's what they're predicted to play same as me and uh, yeah this is the formation I'll be playing which will come up now so that's the formation I'm looking at playing I have got a second tactic which is a tad asymmetrical as you might be able to see which looks quite interesting so I'm looking forward to using that and I'm probably going to use that in fact this game as um, Monkhouse is injured and Arnold plays better as a left mid so we're probably going to keep it like that we'll keep Jenkins as an anchor man there Disley is a ball winning midfielder and um, we'll probably keep Vermeer on unless um, no he's not in the squad okay so we're going to get rid of <coughs> um, all the substitutes so we can re um, re choose who we want on our bench now it is unfortunate that you only get five players on the bench in the conference <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, but definitely going on to the bench we're going to have um, Will Appleby for sure um, also we're going to probably put, uh, put Craig Clay on there as he can play defensive mid and centre mid other than that uh, I reckon s who else should we put on there Scott Brown um, all of our uh, wingers are injured so we're going to have to keep them on unfortunately and as striker wise Padraig Armand's playing Omar Bogle I'm not sure about him should we put him on the bench I don't think we really need to. I think, if anything, we need to put this Matthew Dale on just in case Arnold gets injured. But that's the squad we're playing for this game. Hopefully we can get a result. I'm going to go ahead and submit that team straight away right now. And uh, three points is on the cards, in my opinion. Like I said, Gateshead are a very good team. They're predicted to win this. It's a close call, but I've got to go for Gateshead today, says Jamie White. Uh, apparently, we're going to give it everything, but Gateshead should come out victorious. Hopefully we can prove this guy wrong and uh, get all three points. Sean Pearson is out and yes it would um, be better if we had him in the squad. But three points would be very ideal on my first game in charge. They've got Valentin Gjokac there, very promising centre back uh, who came from Derby County. Shame that we let him go in all honesty. Other than that I don't really um, recognise any other the, of their players there and uh, I'm looking to obviously take all three points so apply that advice and we're going to go ahead and calmly tell the team to just enjoy the match today chill out play football and um yeah get three points <laughs> but you don't want to put too much pressure on the team especially on the opening day so nothing comes at the first five minutes so there's a chance for oster and it's one nil to gateshead already not the start we was after very poor very poor defensive there and uh, shouldn't have really let let him score there let's have a look at the replay in 3D, it's a good free kick dipping over the wall, now, not really much you could have done about that although the wall was a bit a bit shabby really and probably shouldn't have given away a free kick in such a dangerous position but I'm hoping we can come back at them now and uh, force ourselves back into the game, it doesn't really look like that, they're all over us and there's been nothing else happening in this first half other than that first chance which is disappointing, I'm going to give a team talk here and I'm going to assertively tell the team to demand more and we've just given away a penalty which just further adds to the frustration of this game so far second chance of the game they're probably going to score it unless we manage uh, McEwen manages to make a save which is very unlikely and yeah it's in the back of the net Patterson puts them up 2-0 not the start I was hoping for at Grimsby Town but you know you've got to lose somewhere in this league yeah you can't you know you can't go and beat and you can't really expect that and it looks like we're going to go into half time 2-0 down I'm very disappointed I will be having a go at the team as um, you know we can't we can't be dealing with this 2-0 down first game of the season you know we play poor we haven't even been in the game so an aggressive team talk is in order there everyone's lighted up green looking motivated we're gonna have to bring off Jenkins as his conditioning is very low we'll bring on Craig Clay Hopefully he can make a difference in defence. Other than that, I don't really think I can play 
bring anybody else on. Let's have a look at Arnold. He's playing a bit poor. And then again, so is Bearman, but we haven't got an attacking midfielder to play. So, see how Dale doesn't really play well there, does he? We'll keep Arnold on, start the second half. Just that one change then. Clay on for Jenkins. Hopefully, uh, he can help us tighten up. And that is the last thing I wanted in this game, was Jack McCreef to get injured, because I have no replacement for him at this time. So I'm gonna have to play Padraig Eamon there. Um, oh well, he doesn't play too bad there actually, saying that, so hopefully he can actually contribute to uh, the game. Doesn't look that way, we're playing very poor and they've got another chance now on the edge of the box. It's whipped in, cleared only half out, Clear gets it away. Well defended there, a bit scrappy. We tell the team to push forward. Um, well, we are pushing forward apparently, and Arnold's got the goal, but is he offside? No, it's not, Nathan Arland. Arnold has got a goal on his debut there. Let's have a look at this in 3D. Matt Beck picks him out nicely, and Arnold on the first time just sends the keeper flying, but can't, um, can't get a hand to it, and we're back in the game now, which is very positive. We just need to capitalise on that momentum now. I'm going to go ahead and give a team talk, calmly tell the team, to push forward, hopefully push for a, an equalising goal perhaps. Um, I really love, I'll, I'll be happy with a point right now to be honest, coming back into this game, they're still all over us, not really much to shout about in terms of you know, possession or chances for us. I'm going to go ahead and switch to overload for the last like 14, 15 minutes of the game and we could look to make another substitute now, um, probably bring on Scott Brown here. Disley, who's looking quite tired there, confirm that. Hopefully, give us a bit of strength in the midfield there. Uh, hopefully, he might be able to make some chances. Only 10 minutes left in the game. We could have a chance here. Robertson now. He gives it to Gowling. And it's cleared away, but only as far as clear to Verma now. Verma gets it wide to Amond. Tate whips one in. It's Mark Beck and it snuck its way. Oh, but it's a penalty. I would have rather have took the goal there. It snuck its way past, but can we get the goal? This is very crucial here. The number 27, it will be Eamond. He shoots, he scores. Grimsby, two all in this game now. What a comeback it is. I am very happy with that. I will take that every day of the week. Can we even maybe push for a third? Is it possible? Probably not, but um, I will take a point in this first game after being 2-0 down we should great character as Brendan Rodgers would say and great Beck gets injured in the last minute I've got no substitution so we're playing without a striker I believe oh Scott Brown never came on I accidentally switched Robertson why is Robertson there hmm I don't know but we're gonna um we're gonna bring on Dale then we're gonna switch it like that and then we'll put Arnold on the right and put Eamon up front there you go right well that's disappointing that Beck got injured right in the last minute well well we're a minute over could we get a goal here maybe perhaps one more chance even though it's over it'll be very very controversial for us to get a goal but no the referee blows full time I'll take a point in this first game gate said two Grimsby town two very, uh, very good game. Well, what a comeback that was. Great effort, lads. Well played. Continue to the post-match analysis there. But he wasn't expecting that, was you? Mr. Um, predictor Man. Well, not a bad not a bad result, really. Ha FC Halifax getting a 5-0 win over Dover there. Chamnia winning on their first game in the conference out of non-league football. How did Cheltenham do? They drew 0-0 with Chester. Um, a good start, a couple of nil nils in the, the league, which is a little bit boring for the uh, conference. But like I said, I'll take a 2 2. Very fortunate to get back in the game there. Nathan Arnold, Nathan Arnold getting a goal, and Padraig Eamond also. Tolt made, uh, Tate, should I say, not Tolt. Tate made his Grimsby debut. Vital. Uh, hopefully, Gowling will come back. Every manager is keen to see their signings. Um, I'm going to say we were the better team even though we weren't, but you never know. 
and um, Oyster was a good play. I've got to admit, transfer rumours. We never look, we never stop looking because you never do. You, you never know when you're going to find that one player who could improve your squad. Signings now are very much limited. I don't think I will be signing anybody else. In terms of who we're going to come back against, uh, it looks like it's going to be Tranmere who are going to be playing in our next live game. So, guys, I. Uh, I bid you a farewell. Uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, though, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and subscribe if you want to. And uh, also go ahead and subscribe to FM Scouts channel. And hopefully you will see some of the content coming out there. But anyway, guys, all that's left to say from me is peace.